When comparing water ionizers, I think the most important thing to look at is the healthiness of the water that that particular that each particular ionizer makes. And uh, that should at least uh, be in the picture of what you're looking at and, uh, and looked at uh, seriously as, as an indication of uh, whether you want to buy that water ionizer or not. Uh, now there's three terms that you need to understand when looking at the healthiness of the water. The first term is pH. That means potential hydrogen. How acid or alkaline is the water? Uh, the second term is ORP. That stands for oxygen reduction potential. And uh, basically that uh, is the proportionate amount of negatively charged hydrogen ions that exist in the substance or OH minus uh, ions that exist in that water. And um, the easiest way to look at what ORP means is um, what is the antioxidant effect of that water? And um, a lot of people understand antioxidants because you get vitamin C, E, and whatever. And um, the, the water, when you make your water negatively charged for ORP, you are turning that into an antioxidant similar to orange juice, so only even better. Uh, the, the third term, uh, which puts all of the other terms into perspective, is RH, which stands for relative hydrogen. Now, uh, what this is, is uh, you can change your ORP, uh, in, you know, kind of falsely. You can look at two different machines and look at their different ORPs, and you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell which machine was better because you can falsely uh, get a false picture of that machine's ORP by jacking up the pH on one machine and not on the other. You, you'd show a higher ORP on the machine where your pH was jacked up. So um, the term relative hydrogen uh, just indicates the actual healthiness of the water based on the proportionate amount of negative hydrogen ions that are in that water. And uh, it's, it's really a calculation uh, that is performed and it, under the chart you can see the actual calculation that is made to determine what the RH is. Um, you can pause this video and, and look that up and then uh, continue or just continue. It, it is basically the healthiness, the overall healthiness of that water. And it's on a chart, on a scale I mean, of 0 to 40, with uh, 0 being the healthiest that any liquid could possibly ever get, and uh, 40 <coughs> being the unhealthiest <clears throat> excuse me, that any liquid could possibly get. So, um, now a test has been made on two, <clears throat> actually a couple of tests have been made that I'm going to talk about. Uh, this first test was made on the Melody and the Enagic. And uh, for, some, for some reason on this one, the, uh, the uh, Athena was left out of that uh, first testing. And um, that uh, was done by Water Ionizer Authority. And I'll just talk about the differences of RH. The Melody had a 3.27 RH, and the Enagic had a 3.03 RH. And uh, those are very good. They're close to zero. Um, and they are also comparable. The RH uh, from one machine to the other is very close. The Enagic was a tiny bit better, but when you're talking about the difference between 3.03 .03 and 3.27, it's a very, very small amount better on a scale of 0 to 40. Now, another test was done by Silver State Labs, and this was a non-biased test. Uh, they were paid for doing the testing, and no matter what their result was, uh, that's that was their result. They were they were simply contracted to do this and do it in a non-biased, very scientific way. Um, now that can be found on YouTube, Silver State Laboratory, um, and I also have it on my website. You can look that up.
the actual video. But here we're just going to look at the RH calculations of these three machines. All three were tested along with others. And uh, the Melody uh, on their tests had a 6.37 RH. The Athena had a 0.68 RH. And the Enagic had a 6.3 RH. Um, now, on the first testing, the Athena was not included, but on this test, the Athena came out the very best. So, I think there's more testing needing to be done on all of the machines, but just based on these uh, tests alone, uh, it looks like the Melody and the Enagic are very, very close. Um, Enagic 6.3, Melody 6.37. I just don't see how you can get closer than that. And, uh, and so it's non-conclusive whether Melody or Enagic produces the better uh, water. Now, I do have a friend who has an Enagic, and um, I have tested her water, and that's using St. Louis water. And uh, hers, uh, hers does not get a, a better ORP than my Melody, um, or, or, you know, or our better R, RH than my Melody. So, um... I'm going to go over next Monday and, and do new testing on it, and I'll, I'll let you know how that turns out. Now, moving on down, uh, the electrode plates of the machines are very different. Um, now, all three machines are very different. The Melody has five plates. Uh, these are, these are uh, three inch by five inch plates. Um, so, uh, standard plat, flat plate. Uh, platinum coated titanium with electroplating. The Athena has five plates, but these are mesh plates, and the claim uh, with mesh is that this is the state of the art, most up-to-date technology to ionize the water the best. Now they could be telling the truth because they did get the best RH, but uh, like I said, more, for, more testing is needed. Also, does the mesh hold up? Um, in other words, do those plates last? as many years. Um, I don't see why not because platinum and titanium just uh, aren't going to break down so I, I think as long as it's um, cleaned well enough I think it should last. Um, so uh, let's move on. The Enagic has seven plates and their claim to fame is that they're, these are the largest plates that are possible. Um, blah blah blah. These large plates uh, produce you know, greater um, ionized water, but when you look at the results, actually, it, it doesn't look greater. So I am not sure about that. Now, um, bigger does not always mean better, and um, the Enagic company, of course, will tell you bigger does mean better. Uh, the Jupiter uh, Encotech uh, will tell you bigger is not better, and if you look at the uh, development of TV, radio, um, and all electronic equipment, which an ionizer is electronic, and the you know, ionization process is electronic. Um, you know, the, the EMCOTEC will tell you, you know, bigger is definitely not better and, and won't do the job better. As a matter of fact, they say that um, the larger electrodes draws um, more power and thus decreases the electrode life. So, uh, don't know about that one. I don't think, I think it's all theory at this point. They all have their theories, but it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it, you should know these are theories. They haven't been tested over 50 years or even 20 years. These, these machines are not uh, that old. They're not older than, uh, you know, this one's not older than uh, you know, like four years, uh, so or five years. So, you know, it's definitely, definitely not something that can, that is proven. But it is a theory, and um, I just look at the water. What what water is produced? And I think more testing that's objective needs to happen with the water.